comes to Raspberry Pi, but what are all these bits? Usually when you get a laptop or a tablet, all of the circuits are hidden behind a shell. Not the case, sorry, bad pun, with the Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look. Raspberry Pi 2. We won't be going into too much detail, just enough for us to understand the main parts which will help us in the building of our robot. Starting with the big black chip in the middle, this is the Pi's central processing unit, so it's like the brains and does most of the processing for programs. The smaller black chip is the Ethernet chip and it is responsible for controlling all of the input and output messages from the USB and Ethernet ports. There are four USB universal serial bus ports used to connect other hardware such as keyboard, mouse or wireless dongle. The Ethernet port if you are connecting to network or internet router using a cable the audio connection, where we can connect to some speakers. The Pi camera connection, where, wait for it, you connect a Raspberry Pi camera to. The display port, where you can connect a separate display to. The HDMI connection, which stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. This is where we connect up the Raspberry Pi to a monitor. The mini USB port, where the main power is connected to. There are a couple of LEDs on the board, one for the power and the other to show when the Pi is reading or writing to the SD card. The GPIO pins, which stand for General Purpose Input Output. There are 40 of them, which we can connect to and use these to send and receive signals that will control the robot. More on these pins in a later video. If we turn the Pi over, looking at the underside of the Pi, the chip in the middle is the RAM, R-A-M, Random Access Memory, which is the memory used by Central Processing Unit while running programs. Finally, we have the SD card reader, which holds the micro SD card where we can permanently store programs such as the operating system. The SD card is the hard drive of the computer. So there you have it, a quick tour of the Raspberry Pi. Have fun, bye!